Hey guys, Strangers here with another video for you today. And today I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft Bedrock working in VR once again. But just a disclaimer, this is unofficial support. This will only work with older versions up to 1.21.70.3 and lower. Also, if you're not using an Oculus headset, I cannot help you. I don't know how to get it working on Steam VR at all. So if you don't have an Oculus headset, again, I'm sorry, but I don't know how to help you. This will mostly work with the Quest 3S, the Quest 3, and any other Quest headset, really, that can run you know, Minecraft on PC. But uh, also the Oculus Rift S and older should also work with this, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm very sorry if, you know, this doesn't work for you guys. I only recently got this working last night and I was up late so I'm still very tired so yeah I, I tried to get it to work on Steam VR but for some reason even like changing all the settings and uh, in developer mode and all that trying to get it to you know set as default for open XR no matter what it just would not work uh, the image would not go to the headset at all but um if anyone finds a solution to how to work, get you know, work around this to get it all to work properly, please leave a comment down below. So you know, to help out anyone else who's using pretty much Steam VR. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial now that we got that out the way. All right, so first thing you want to do is make sure you have a legal copy of Minecraft Bedrock. Yeah, I know. All right, second thing is you need to make sure you have it from the Microsoft Store. Yeah, I know, very annoying, no one likes the Microsoft Store, but you need it from Microsoft Store, apparently for this to work properly. All right guys, so next thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on the first link down in the description below, It'll take you to Minecraft Bedrock Launcher Lite. And uh, don't worry, this is a trusted website, trusted download link and everything. People have already you know, scanned it and everything, and it, it works pretty well. But you wanna go ahead and click on download, okay. It'll bring you to GitHub. What you do is go ahead and just scroll on down. I'm gonna click on this link right here. Pop this up. I already got it, so I'm not gonna re-download it again. The next thing you want to do is go ahead, and go to the link, the second link in the description, and click. You know, click on it. It'll come to Bedrock Launcher or Bedrock VR Launcher. We'll take it here on the GitHub. Go ahead and download this one. To the top link. Go ahead and save it, and what you want to do is go ahead and save it to, uh, say, anywhere you can easily access it, your desktop or a custom folder or whatever. All right, once you got both those downloaded, you'll see Bedrock VR Launcher here, and you'll see the zip file you got for Bedrock Launcher. What you want to do is go ahead, right-click it, click Extract here. All right, let it go, and once that happens, what you want to do is click on uh, Bedrock Launcher here. All right, before you do anything else, what you want to do is go ahead and make sure to back up. Like if you you know, have any worlds you want to keep and whatnot, go ahead and back those up on uh, your, your Bedrock version and whatnot. Just go ahead and back those up and um, make sure you have them saved someplace. Make sure you do that. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on this right here to start the Bedrock Launcher. Yes. Go boot up. is go ahead and click next go install this wherever it needs to go just click next finish all right guys i'm glad i caught this before i started editing um to make a backup of your worlds without doing it manually you can do it manually but without doing it manually you can just go to settings scroll down go here you go to back up save data uh, save data and there you go. We'll create another backup and now create the um, the recovery data here. You can go ahead and go to installations, open the folder, and you can just back out this. You can just go ahead. Actually, sorry, go back. You get to recovery data, then you can go ahead and copy that and then put it anywhere you want, you know, as a backup and everything. And then, you know. You can have your backups and not lose all your worlds or anything like that. But just an extra precaution, find out where your bedrock is, go to your file or everything, and then copy the entire file before you 
you know, install it and do anything. So that way you're 100% safe, protected, you got all your stuff. And if you want, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, go into the, the Bedrock version and go ahead and test to make sure your worlds are still there. Now go ahead, select recovery, and then go in and make sure your worlds are still there. Back to you, Azix. Now, the next step is to click on installations. Click on, as you can see, I already got a copy. I'll just go ahead and delete that. So you know exactly what to do. Honestly, I didn't think I'll save it. But what you want to do is go to new installation. Go ahead and click on the arrow down here. Uh, go ahead and scroll down until you get to 120.73.1. Like earlier, I just, you know, name it, you know, VR. Bedrock. Go ahead and click create. Anyways, what you want to do is click down here. Look for VR Bedrock. Alright, click play. Wait for it to just load. All right, so now you'll come up to a page like this. What you want to do is make sure you sign in. All right. So you might get a thing that tells you to sign in and whatnot. Like a Microsoft thing might come on board, might just automatically sign you in. It depends really. The next you want to do is open main menu. And there you go. You're on a 1.21.73.03 uh, or 01, I mean. But yeah. Next step is to just just to close that, right? Now you want to back out. So that's just to get everything into position for everything else to work. So next step you want to go ahead and do is all right. So the next step you want to go ahead and, and open your Oculus or Meta, Meta Quest link here. Go ahead, open that. Let it load and everything. All right. So once you're sure that your Oculus is up and running. What you want to do now is go down to settings, go to general, and go down to this open XR runtime. You want to make sure this is set as you know default or whatever. Make sure this so hopefully this button will be blue for you. If not, then you're good to go. It's already set as default and everything. But uh yeah, this is uh the most important part. You want to make sure this is clicked in and grayed out and whatnot, so you know it's you know it's set to that. This is like where I had the, my uh, found out the solution to my problem of why I wasn't displaying in the headset. All right, so now you're all set to go. All you have to do now is open up your file again. Go to Bedrock Launcher VR. You want to make sure you close Steam VR. Don't let it open up. Don't need it unless you know unless you're trying to get this run on Steam VR. So it should just open up. It'll load, it'll probably get stuck at 74. Just just let it go through its thing, let it load. I can already hear the music and stuff now. Check that, there it is. Get rid of that. So yeah, make sure you need it, like I said. And there you go, guys. As you can see, the VR headset is working. Put on the headset now. There we are. Got my hands and everything. Now your character will get messed up for some reason. Sorry about the music echo in the background. You can go ahead and change that and everything. As you can see here, it says skin cannot be loaded. Whatever. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, create your world. There you go. As you can see, I'm playing Minecraft Bedrock VR again. Go ahead and go into full immersion mode. There it is. I've got to mod across music for some reason. Yeah, 
and go. I hope you all enjoy. I hope this uh, helps out everyone. Um, there might, of course, be a few people who look like freaking freaking desert temple over there. Now, this, like I, again, this might not work for everybody, unfortunately. That's the way it is. Sadly. I might have to do a re upload of this. Pause that. I might have to do like a re upload of this later on just in case like some steps didn't go correctly. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I mean, it works for me, so I don't know if there's any steps missing as you can clearly see, it just works for me as of right now. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope this helped. If not, I'll try to see if I can find like, a solution for any one of the problems. But I won't guarantee it. Sorry, just not an expert at this. And I think this goes without saying, but um, yeah, sadly, eventually this will just eventually down the road stop working. So sadly. We could possibly still lose this feature permanently. But right now, hope you enjoyed this, you know, fix to get it working again. Hopefully it works for a lot of you out there. I know it won't work for everybody, but I'll come back for this temple. <laughs> Assuming I'm gonna keep this one. I might have to do some, you know, testing again. Um, I might uninstall everything fully this time. Do some real testing. If uh you know, from if I do do some like hardcore testing and it, you know, doesn't work, I'm gonna obviously have to do this whole tutorial over. So this won't be uploaded anyways. But if it is uploaded, then uh, well, you guys will see the video obviously and see that it didn't come to any problem, other problems. And this has worked, but hopefully someone. You know, who knows coding and everything and knows bedrock like the back of their hand and can mess with the systems a bit. Hopefully we'll get more stuff like this with the bedrock here launcher and a camo. And a baby camo. Little baby camo. Little baby camo. Anyways. Hopefully someone who's you know very smart and knows how to work with bedrock and everything. Can uh Possibly update this uh, launcher. Possibly update the files needed. And maybe, I know it's a long shot, but maybe get this to work on later versions of uh, Bedrock. I know, again, it's a long shot, most likely no, because, you know, I did read up that, you know, Minecraft Bedrock VR file or files or. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Another temple and uh, another village. One over here, too. Yeah, I heard that the falls are. Yeah, we gotta get that village. Are locked down pretty tightly, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't know this stuff. Yeah, hopefully, just everything just works out. And someone makes a newer updated version that either keeps this alive and keeps it going or you know okay or we get a uh updated version that works on the latest okay that's enderman on the latest uh versions that's zombies man but uh yeah uh, let's make it to this village and then i'll go ahead and uh and the outro. Being chased by everything right now, aren't I? Oh my god. Infected village, infected village. Um, let's just. Let's just. Let's just oh. Actually, why not this time? 
There we go, now we're good. Anyways, let's go home and our load the outro. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, go leave a like, comment down below. Like what other type of videos you would like to see me make. And uh, as always, uh, you like, subscribe, and like this. And as always, man, take a step back and enjoy life. Bye, guys. Peace.